Hello, I'm Sain from FarmFin and in this video we will look at how growth crops work, what they are and actually how you can use them to monitor all your fields at exactly the same time. We will also look at a specific example where a cutworm has started to eat a barley field. But before we get to that example, a good way to understand this and to explain it is to look at it like this. When you drive through your fields with your bucket, you can sometimes see that some spots are not doing so well. They might be wilted or yellow. Now this is all good and well, but to see the average health of your field and to compare it with all other fields, well, it's close to impossible. And that is where growth crops come in. The great thing about satellites is that they pick up each plant's special reflecting signature. We then take all of that information, process it and put it on a growth crop. Let's look at the cutworm example. The three lines represent three barley fields in Bredastorp in the Western Cape. Lines that go up means that fields are growing, and lines that go down mean plants are going down. Very simple. In this example, you can clearly see when and which field the cutworm starts to eat. You can use this exact same principle on your fields. So how do you get graphs of your fields? It's actually quite simple. Fill in the form on farmpin.com. You find the fields you want to see growth graphs of and draw a boundary around them. To make it easier, you can even just drop pins on the fields that you want to see. You will then receive health and moisture maps within seconds and growth graphs 24 to 48 hours after. And that's how simple it is. Try it yourself. 